Now, some police forces in England and Wales drop as many as one in three rape investigations before they ever get to court. New research by the Inspectorate of Constabulary has revealed that if you're a victim of rape, your chances of getting justice vary wildly across the country. Why? And is there, as the Inspectorate has today suggested, a culture where victims are simply not believed? Our Home Affairs correspondent, Darsh Nasoni, has been investigating. You OK if I take some details down from you today? Okay. Amanda Farquhar manages Lincoln's Sexual Assault and Referral Centre, or SARC. There's one in every county, and they were set up to make it easier for victims of rape to come forward. Do a lot of women and men still worry that the police might not take them seriously? I think, I think there's always that concern because the police are seen as an authority figure and sometimes, yes, we have had that before, that they, what will the police do, what will they say? Um, and we try to reassure them that in Lincolnshire we have a specialist team. But could there be good reason for that mistrust? It was hoped that specialist centres like these would help boost the conviction rate of rapists. But for decades, those rates have remained depressingly low. And today, it's been suggested by HMIC, the independent overseer of police, that some forces are writing off a third of allegations reported to them in a practice known as no-criming. According to the new figures, there's a postcode lottery operating in the way in which different forces across England and Wales deal with rape and sexual assault. There's a concern that there's still a culture of disbelief that persists amongst some officers when it comes to taking rape allegations seriously. The no crime figures for rape vary across the country. The force with the lowest is Cumbria, with just 3% of alleged rapes recorded as no crime having taken place. But there are seven forces where the figure is more than 20%, and the highest is Lincolnshire, where it's 33%. Is there a culture of disbelief among your officers? Are women still not being taken seriously, and men, when they record rape? Um, well, within Lincolnshire, that's certainly not the case, but we always take the stance within Lincolnshire that we believe victims, we record their account, and we investigate thoroughly. But then why are so many rapes here being reclassified? Well, that's something we need to look into. Um, possibly it's because within Lincolnshire, it's one of the safest counties to live in the country, and our our actual levels of recorded rape are relatively low, um, so a small variation in numbers can lead to a big percentage increase. But campaigners believe today's figures are part of a wider problem. Last year, a police whistleblower claimed that forces are routinely manipulating crime statistics in order to meet targets. Rape support groups say victims are now even less likely to come forward. History tells us that our society questions women when they claim they have been raped or have suffered any form of sexual violence. They're questioned. You know, if I walk into a bar and tell people that I've been burgled, people aren't necessarily going to question if that happened or not. You know, if your car gets stolen, people don't question that. When a woman says she's raped, a lot of people automatically question if that actually happened or not. Campaigners say it's now time for all these allegations to be recorded as a crime when they're reported, without question or challenge. Darshna Sonny, Channel 4 News, Lincolnshire.